Hi, this is Ms. Techify, and in this video we're going to be going over rooting your HTC Wildfire S. This is the gold card method, and it is for CDMA phones only, not for GSM. If you're not sure what you have, if you have a SIMS card slot, this is not going to work for you. If you have the GSM phone, you're going to have to do the um, HTC Super Tools version 3. And in the video that I made for unlocking the bootloader, I put that link over there for the GSM phone. So first off, you're going to make sure that you go into settings, locations, development, make sure that USB debugging is checked. You're going to also need to download these files, Wildfire S one click, the HTC USB drivers, and the simple gold card creator unzip the files into a folder. I've done that for the Wildfire S is unzipped. You got the tools of the S off bat. And for the simple gold, I just unzipped it straight onto the desktop. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're to right click on it and run it as administrator. Alright, so if you already have the HTC Sync installed on your computer, go ahead and remove it. Um, you might notice that you'll have the HTC USB drivers available to you to leave on the computer. You can go ahead and do that. If you don't have anything, you can download it here and put it in. So after downloading these files, the next step, plug the phone in. We're going to, for the first one, because we're going to be flipping between charge only and disk drive for this process. So for the first one, we're going to go to disk drive. You're going to let the computer recognize it as a storage device. Then go in and open up your simple gold card. So for me, I'm going to right click and run as administrator. It sees my drive and then I'm going to format. Formatting is completed. I'm going to go back into the phone and we're going to take it off disk drive we're going to put it on charge only and that's going to put it into the USB debugging. So you select MMC1 and then choose get CID. So a CID comes up and then you're going to hear in step 4 you're going to have a website to go to. You click on that it's going to bring you to this website here You're going to want to copy the get CID and paste it right in. Make sure that you select your device. We're an Android, not a Windows 7 mobile. And you're going to need to type what you see and select gold card. So in the directions that you find on the website where I'll leave a link to, it says that you're going to need to use a valid email. You're now able to just download it. So I downloaded my gold card image. I'm now going to load the image of where it's located. So once you've selected your gold card image, make sure that you go back into the phone and take it from charge only to disk drive. Make sure that the computer recognizes it. So after you put the phone into storage, you're going to patch the MMC. And this is just a reminder to place the SD card back in the computer and make sure that it is recognized as a mass storage device. So OK success. Once your gold card is made, you're going to go ahead and pull it down again and from disk drive you're going to go back to charge only so it goes to USB debugging. Now we're going to open up the file that we unzipped of the Wildfire S one click S off and run the S off dot bat. And go ahead and read through the stuff. 
press any key to continue. It's just asking, uh, reminding you that you have enabled USB debugging and the gold card. Okay, so, so I'm going to continue. It's going to boot the phone into HBoot. So you're going to see the phone go off. And it's going to put into HBoot. Alright, you have to wait for the phone to get into this next screen. And you're going to hit the power button just once. And it's going to continue. And you're na going to navigate down and you need to do clean S58. Whoops, I went too far. Power button down to select. And it's going to clean it. Um, you need to press power button again to select it. If you do the volume down button, it's going to exit and you won't go any further on this process. Alright, so it says clean data OK. So once you've cleaned the S58, you're going to pull the battery. I am going to plug the phone back in and hit the power button and boot the phone back up. So the phone is booted back up and it's left in charge only for USB debugging. Let's go back to this command prompt here. And it says after powered up to the home screen, hit any key to continue. So it's uh, doing this whole process here. All right, press any key to continue. It's going to reboot the phone. All right, press any key to continue. The phone is actually rebooting up. I'm personally, I'm going to wait for the phone to fully reboot back up before I press any key to continue. The phone is fully booted. It is in USB debugging. And I'm going to go ahead and press any key to continue. I went into the Android market and I got an application called Got Root. Let's go ahead and check the root. I do have Super User going. It's successfully located BusyBox on the device. We have root. I booted normally and I went into the phone as a mass storage and I deleted the image, the recovery image. Now I'm going to do a battery pull, go into HBoot. Alright, so where we're at now, we were able to do the S off on the phone. First the gold card, the S off. And the phone is rooted with super user, is on. I've updated the super user wireless tether for root users. And it's installed, so let's go ahead and open it. Start to tether. It's pretty simple. It's going to leave it open. And then from your computer, oh, don't forget to allow. This is very important. You need to allow. I'm going to go through the next step uh, for the first time setting it up because you're going to have to give permissions. Go ahead and shut it off right away. And please choose Allow. If you choose Disable, you're going to have issues. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back on now that that is set up.
So the hot spot is on. Uh, if you want to see the full process, I've shown it many times before uh, on the other videos. You're basically just going to open up the device. You're going to see it. You're going to connect to it. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean it's the wildfire us it's not working for you. Go ahead and look at the other device and see if other people had issues, whether it be ad hoc issues 